This is one of the most powerful Italian drawings in the collection of the Harvard Art Museums. Technically, it is a tour de force. Piranesi first took a piece of red chalk and filled the sheet with a web of lines. He stressed important structural elements such as the swinging curvatures with several parallel lines. Then he brought this drawing to life with pen and ink from the figurative friezes to the Corinthian capitals of the double columns to the rustication of the walls and the cassettes of the vaults. And then the magic happened. Piranesi took a brush and bathed the scene in light by applying shading. The washes offset the untouched areas of the paper, the reserve. The paper begins to sparkle. In addition, Piranesi throws the central sculptural group into profile by applying black ink shading. I don't think a Roman would have been able to make any sense of this. What is the size of the monument? Piranesi indicates the scale with tiny shadowy figures in a flight of stairs. The sculptures, then, must be frighteningly big. What profoundly irritates me is that the sculptures don't align with the architecture behind them. Piranesi applies conventions of stage design. He doesn't bother clarifying how the circular space and the trophy relate. Instead, he suggests a multitude of concave and convex pieces that are showy, but not sound. Was Piranesi delirious when he drew such visions? Some contemporaries thought he was a madman. I would rather call him an eccentric, who had an unsurpassed talent to use classical architecture to express his subjectivity.